Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk a little bit about quant culture. So this is, I think, a massive issue and something I took on at a firm, and it was something I'd never really thought about in the sense of how do you create quant culture, right? I've gone to different institutions and organizations, and they have corporate culture, which is like the overall culture, and then I've worked on firms that have quant culture, which is really specific to risk management and teams that work with quantitative analytics here. So this really spans like development, implementation, and validation, and internal audit somewhat, depending where your quants are sitting in that spectrum. Some only have them in development and validation. Some have some in, in like an implementation or quant dev team, and some have some in the internal audit, which is somewhat weird and rare at many banks. But how do you build quant culture, right? I've been everywhere, and some of them had good culture and bad culture, but how do you build quant culture? that is such a conundrum to be quite honest with you. I thought, so one of the big things I did was I bought a bunch of textbooks, part of my website as well as putting together a bunch of free resources. And I brought in all these textbooks to the office and said, okay, these textbooks are available for any quant in any part of the bank. Just stop by my office, say, hey, I want to borrow this book. Basically, I just need your name so I know where it's going. And then you can use it, read, study, learn, and then bring it back. Well, this would hopefully help with a few things. One, personal research and learning. So if you want to get in a different area that you currently aren't in, and you kind of want to jump to a different area, I have a book. So if you want to get into credit risk, market risk, these sorts of things, learn more about modeling. This is a free resource with good quality content that I was providing to everybody quant wide. Um, and then I had all the free resources online on neural networks and machine learning and all that. And that's great and wonderful. So I'm like, okay, I have materials, we can kind of do quant things. But how do you really build the culture? And I think this is something it's not, you can just like do. Like I can't just buy something to make quant culture. And so I had to go out of my way and try to think about how do we make the working environment better for the quants, right? So one thing as a quant I can't stand is one, lack of structure and two, lack of freedom. So you need to have this balance where it's like, we all know the expectation. This is exactly what you need to do. This is exactly what I need it by. And if you do that, you're good. Uh, things I don't like is like, for example, micromanagement. I've had people that try to track every single minute and hour you work. This is nonsense. This is super stressful. This is not good practice. This is like, it just lacks common sense for quants. Quants are creative people that do creative work. Yes, you need deadlines on the model needs to be built or validated on specific timelines. We have things we have to hit. But at the same time, you can't freaking automate validation and model development. I know this because I've seen numerous people trying to do this. If it could be done super easily, the big banks would just hire a bunch of computer scientists and they'd automate the whole thing away. But it can't be done. Trust me. Uh, there's a like 50% science, 50% art to doing quant work. Uh, that art piece is just, you have to know things, you have to catch things, you have to have experience and expertise. And that leads me to my second big piece here with quant culture, which is you need quant mentors. You can have a whole team of quants and have zero culture because you don't have sharing of ideas between quants. Um, another big red flag I see with a lot of these small banks or big banks even, for example, is not pairing up junior quants with senior quants. Because as I've mentioned, it's not an exact science. You don't follow steps one to 10 or one to 100 or one to 1,000 and end up with the same result. Uh, again, expertise comes into this. I've seen super genius quants I've worked with in the years and there's not a lot of them out there. And so if you can team them up with junior quants, you can get better quants. It helps kind of clone the quant, right? You get the rub off of the good information from this senior genius quant onto the junior quants and you start to build culture throughout the team. And then the last point I think that is critical for quant culture is just going to be support. Support, support, support. I don't see this enough. I see a lot of negativity from the business sides, from senior managers, for example, um, from the business sides, from executives, uh, even other people in the quantish communities just bashing on quants and spreading things that just aren't true. One of these being quants know math and stats, but they know nothing about the business. Okay, well, you're probably your best quant out there knows more than your business knows. And you want to know how I know that? Because I've seen this in practice. I've seen guys that are quants out there building models, explaining how the business works to the business, and the business not really understanding because that little uh, business lesson they learned in the finance class doesn't hold in the real world. And so 
Again, the nonsensical thing that, oh, quants don't know the business. Quants don't know how finance work. It's complete crap and complete garbage and needs to be oh, done away with. If your quants don't know the business, it's because you as management have failed them. Your team has failed them because you have not educated them on your products. And every single bank has a different strategy, has different products, has different markets, for example. This needs to be trained and taught. And part of quant culture is you need to teach this and you need to get rid of a lot of this negative connotation around quants that they only do math and stats. Because from my experience, yes, you have quants out there that just do math and stats and don't care about the business. But often this comes from the fact that management and the business side don't do a good job at communicating to the quants what they need. So even when quants ask you questions, we're not getting the positive feedback that you need. So building quant culture, a lot of this comes to the fact that you need to facilitate a lot of this communication and you need to do a lot of training. And I think that's part of the quant culture, which people don't understand. I listened to an executive explain to us that quants are really weird. I mean, some people want like benefits, like more money and vacation, but quants, they want time to do research. Like, I don't know, that just baffles me. But yeah, we give them time to do research. It's just like, I just shake my head. Like, you don't understand the quants. Senior management hardly ever does. And to build a good quant culture, you need to build special benefits, special work environments around them. A lot of the quants are getting tired of just being ground down, to be honest, with just nonsensical work. And so a lot of them are leaving and going to other industries or other venues, especially on the banking side where there's almost a no quant culture in most firms. There's minimal to zero training in these firms. And then my favorite excuse for not training them is, well, no other bank's doing it, so why would we do it? So these are my thoughts on quant culture. Again, as a manager on a quant level, regardless if you're a quant or not, you need to create environments and build quant culture to have success. If not, your quants will literally just shut down mentally and will just do the bare minimum and create garbage, which I've seen consistently because you don't motivate them. You don't provide them with the materials they need. And in general, you're just creating a toxic work environment for the quants. Now, the bank might be a great place to work, but your quant culture sucks and your quants are going to leave and you're going to get poor results. So investing in trying to figure out how to create a shell, a nice, comfortable environment, a very productive environment for quants is critical and is crucial. So if you have ideas, guys, put them in the comments below on how you increase quant culture. Again, these are just my thoughts. It's not something like you can just go, go out and buy or just implement a new strategy and magically like you have quant culture. It's something you have to build through good management, through good practices and through good work environment, including resources. So anyways, those are my two cents. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.